In geometry, it's often hard to find a relationship with two points, lines, or shapes. Sometimes we can use geometric transformations to find that relationship. And homothody is one example of a powerful tool that can be used to find relationships between different points, which can often then reveal new paths towards a new solution. First things first, what is a homothody? A homothody is also known as a dilation, and it scales up a figure through a specific point. We can define this in a more precise way by saying that a homothony exists at a point O with ratio K when each point A is sent to a point A prime that lies on AO, and the ratio of A prime O over AO is K. Sometimes K can be negative, and we'll see an example of that later. When two figures can be mapped to each other via homothony, we say that they are homothetic. Let's take a look at a basic example of this. Okay, so here we have a homothody at a point O that takes segment AB to A prime B prime. We can figure out a few things about these segments. We know that OA over OB is equal to OA prime over OB prime because of homothody. By SAS similarity, we have that triangles OAB and OA prime B prime are similar. What follows from this is that segments AB and A prime B prime are parallel. Thus, homothony can be useful for parallel segments. Additionally, we can find O simply by finding the intersection of A A prime and B B prime. However, notice that when these segments are congruent, O does not exist, but we can still find a homothony. Now, what if instead of finding the intersection of A A prime and B B prime, we take the intersection of A B prime and B A prime? This is actually perfectly valid, as the segments are still parallel. However, this time the center of homothony, which we'll call point O sub 2, lies between AB and A prime B prime. This is an example of a negative homothony, where A O sub 2 and B prime O sub 2 are on opposite sides of O sub 2, and thus their ratio is negative. As you may have guessed, the homothony with center O is a positive homothony. Another thing to note is that homothony preserves many of the properties of the original figure. Since corresponding lines are parallel under a homothony, we also know that angles are preserved under a homothony. Because of this, things like tangent lines are also preserved under a homothony. Now let's try a problem. Two circles, C sub 1 and C sub 2 with centers O sub 1 and O sub 2 respectively are tangent at a point T. A line passes through T and intersects circle C sub 1 at point A and C sub 2 at point B. Prove that O sub 1A and O sub 2B are parallel. One thing we notice is that T seems like the center of a homothony that takes circle C sub 1 to C sub 2. In fact, this is true. The intersection of internal tangents of two circles is a center of homothony, and the same goes for the intersection of external tangents of two circles. Because there is a center of homothony at T, we know the triangles O sub 1 AT and O sub 2 BT are mapped to each other through homothony. And since their side lengths are all in a specific ratio, they are similar by SSS similarity. Therefore, angle O sub 1 AT is equal to angle O sub 2 BT, and thus O sub 1 A and O sub 2 B are parallel. As we can see, homothony can be a very useful tool in dealing with tangent circles, and they can also be useful for similar figures. If you want to try using homothony yourself, there are tons of example problems online. Learning to use it to your advantage will allow you to map points easily and transform problems into easier ones. Thanks for watching.